look at that patch here of this woolly wood woolly foot wood woolly foot <laughs> what a great term wood woolly foot i think it's really important that we have common names for our mushrooms all the cultures where the people love their mushrooms they have common names for every mushroom in the u.s and canada we don't have it the british mycological society even put a paper together and made up english names common names for every mushroom we don't have that in the u.s I so it's a struggle a British name for this thing yes exactly that's where yeah. it comes from that list um, so the woody the woolly wood foot has these really woolly feet so when you look at the stem there's lots of very fine hyphae hyphae is the the singular the strand of cells that make up the mycelium and this hyphae here um, is one of the helpful things to identify this mushroom also known as gymnopus peronatus so gymnopus and that's the um, interesting part here of the naming gymnopus means naked foot gymno is naked pus is pace the foot so that naked foot is the woolly um, <laughs> foot here so anyways this is a mushroom that showed up um, somewhat recently in the Puget Sound area probably another invasive species from Europe and now it's everywhere and it's in every city park it's just so common and you find these spots where there's 50 100 of them and you just walk another 10 yards 50 yards and there's the next spot I think so maybe one of the most common mushrooms in the whole bridal trails yeah absolutely by biomass now by fruit if you count fruiting bodies it's just everywhere and you know good size easily to be seen the lightish color especially when they're dry um, you see many of them and then when you look at them here um, so they have a little bit of yellow especially when they're young they have yellow in their gills so they're actually quite uh, beautiful little mushrooms thin flashed spicy when you taste them um, so some people use them as a spice but in general everybody ignores them and most people just ask what is this and well then once you find up, out about Gymnopus um, peronatus then you have a label and you walk on. Now <laughs> DNA has changed the name now there's Marasmialis so new genus and that naked foot thing is gone which hey <laughs> Hallelujah, you know, DNS, uh, DNA testing makes a lot of sense here that we got a, got a new name and not a contradiction. Oh, here I see something else, very different, whole different dimension. These tiny cups are, well, cup fungi, and cup fungi are actually ascomycetes. So all the mushrooms we looked so at so far are all basidiomycetes and that's a term that's based on how the spores are produced the spores of most of the macrofungi are produced on basidia that's a structure which then holds the spores and these little ascomycetes have their spores in little flasks si and um, so the morels are the most famous big mushroom of the uh, of the Ascomycetes are more else, but also um, Penicillinum and baking and brewing yeast, Saccharomyces, is also part of the Ascomycetes. I don't know which one this little guy is. It looks very familiar, but unfortunately, I cannot retain every name I learned at some point. Um, and nobody's testing me out here and forcing me to recall is all that it white stuff over there is that just part of the mycelia yes and this is this is it's typical here look at this everywhere and this feels pretty slimy here you know um, look at, at the depths of the mycelium so you see the mushroom colonizing all the biomass here and and digesting it breaking it down uh, taking out uh, the cellulose or lignin often many mushrooms do one or the other uh, some can do both and break it down and then another mushroom will follow up there's like a succession of uh, fungal uh, decomposition some some fungi start out they they are the best in in 
getting into an organism or into biomass and then they take out a certain amount of the nutrients and then other uh, species will break down other stuff and so yeah I mean everywhere here look at everything is just mycelium covered in mycelium um, and you know maybe that's all the fuss also on the stem base of these guys of the woolly Woodford.